a look at what Godrej Industries, the whole go of uh, some of the most prominent Godrej names like properties, consumers has done in the third quarter. Uh, it will mostly, of course, be a combination of all of these listed companies and its whole goes. Revenue up 9%, margin expansion that led to a 45% surge on the profit after tax. Adi Godridge, chairman of Godridge Industries, now joins us on the show. Mr. Godridge, really appreciate you taking our time for this interview. You know, there is this continuing slowdown that we are seeing, of course, in the Indian economy. But do you believe that the Godridge Group has been able to achieve today what you had targeted to achieve, even though we are seeing an economic slowdown? Yes, I think uh, by and large we have achieved our targets. Of course, in the last uh, 12 months or so, we have faced a slowdown in the economy. And uh, uh, so growth is not as well as uh, one would have expected. You know, you've been quite optimistic on the reforms brought about uh, by the government. There was nothing much, however, on the real estate space, uh, especially in Budget 2020. So what's the on-ground difference you witnessed in the reforms? Well, some of these reforms have gone well. Some don't seem to have taken effect. Uh, I think GST was a good reform and GST should help the economy in the long run. Uh, but our real estate business continues to do well. We are not dependent on government reforms. And even under the present circumstances, uh, we will continue to do well. And our last two uh, years have been record years for Godridge properties. You know, Godrich consumers in the business of products that are discretionary, that are premium in nature. How have you seen the Indian consumer chain choices, especially amidst the fact that, you know, the consumption environment is a bit weak? Yes, there is a little pressure. Uh, I think people's purchasing power has come down somewhat. That has affected their buying propensity. And uh, that may continue until the general economic situation completely improves. Do you think Indian chemical companies are being regarded as more com competent than before? What's the opportunity there? And of course, what can we expect from your own chemicals business? Our chemicals business is doing well. We have good growth, good profitability, and we expect it to continue to do well. You know, there's also the extended monsoon, the delayed sowing, and I think that has impacted the sales and profitability during the quarter. Uh, what do you think will drive growth then in the coming quarters? There were some problems, as you know, uh, the monsoon-related problems. Agricultural sector was affected, but now we expect a very good rubby crop, and that will mean a turnaround in the agri-sector, to my mind, and we expect Godrej Agrovet to do very well in the quarters to follow. At what stage of the cycle are we right now and how many quarters more when meaningful revival and growth happens in our economy? I think it will take two or three quarters for generally. Some parts of the economy might revive earlier, some a little later, but overall two or three quarters. So I expect the year 2021 to be much better overall than the year 1920. You know, we've also got the outbreak of the coronavirus. What will be the impact on the Godridge group of companies? And of course, uh, since we have you, the, eco uh, the impact on the economy as a whole, uh, as per your assessment. That's very difficult to predict generally from the economy point of view. But generally, I think there won't be much effect on India. India may even benefit in certain cases. We as a company are not dependent on imports from China, so we don't expect to be affected much by the coronavirus situation. And uh, generally, this could even be an opportunity in certain cases because China will be unable to supply some of the products, so India could take its place. All right. Uh, great. Thanks so much, uh, Mr. Godridge. Uh, really appreciate you taking our time for this interview. That's Godridge Industries. Adi Godridge speaking exclusively to ET9.